Working with new calendars can get a little tricky. I found a hack in Google Calendar though to help you stay on track and know exactly what you should be working on at a glance. In today's video, we're going to learn how to add a new calendar in Google Calendar and why it's an important skill to know. Hi everybody, I'm Brandon Gustafson. I own and operate two assisted living facilities and I created this channel to help people just like you learn the ins and outs of investing in assisted living. Welcome to Assisted Living Investing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In my last video, uh, we talked about what is Google Calendar. Uh, go ahead and watch that video and let me know if, uh, I'm sure you already knew what Google Calendar was, but I really think having that base knowledge as I get into what I'm gonna talk about today is gonna be helpful. And in today's video, I'm gonna get into how you can add a new calendar to your Google Calendar that's gonna help you stay organized and help you know exactly what you're working on um, as you go along and, and get things going. So why an additional calendar? I, I used to try to color code my calendars. Um, I like colors and like to have things looking a certain way, um, but sometimes I would forget to change the color um, and it always took like a couple extra clicks to get things done and get it how I wanted it to look and I couldn't really customize it. Um, and, and what I found, like for me, maybe I'm just weird, um, but that's what I wanted to do. I wanted it to have it be um, looking like I, you know, the way that I wanted it to look. And I wanted to take the time to, to have it coordinate that way so that when I looked at it and it was green, I knew I was working on this one. And when it was blue, I knew I was working on this thing. Um, it just signals to my brain, this is what you're working on right now. So my goal was to have a, a, a calendar that was color coded um, based on different projects that I have going on. So obviously I've got my assisted living facilities, I uh, have the YouTube channel, things for my family, um, have my full-time job, and I have a few other projects as well, um, things with my church, um, also um, a couple other business ventures that I'm looking at. And so I just, I have, you know, five, six, seven things that I've got going on. And I really wanted to create something that when I looked at it, I knew, oh, it's peach. That means it's a family thing. And it's red. That means it's a church thing. And it's green. That means it's something that has to do with um, kind of consulting work and things like that. And so I can really keep that in place and know exactly what's going on at, at a glance of, of what I'm doing. Um, it, when I couple that with my Notion to-do list and my matrix planning, um, it really helps me just be very clear and very intentional and how I spend my time. And I'll link um, my stuff up above on an advanced to-do list in Notion and also um, how to do matrix planning above because those those two things combined with what I'm gonna show you right here in Google Calendar is what helps me be productive and helps me stay on task. And I'm sure you are have been watching me these last few videos and you're like, oh my gosh, how long does it take this guy to do this planning? And I will tell you, it takes me 10 minutes a day, maybe. Um, now that I have the system in place and have things there, it really doesn't take a long time to go in, um, look at my to-do list, put it in my calendar, and then um, drop it into my matrix plan on, on where I'm gonna work on a thing and really get things done. And then the next day, I'm able to pick it up and be like, boom, here we go, I'm ready to go, let's get started and, and go ahead and jump into things. And it's really helped me be productive and uh, especially during like really stressful times and things like that, I still know what I need to get done and can block off some time on my calendar to spend 15 to 30 minutes and get a thing done. And um, it helps me be productive and, and, and makes it so that I can function and, and do the things that I need to do so that I can run businesses effectively. So I'm gonna get into a tutorial now on how you can create uh, additional calendars in your Google Calendar. And uh, so we'll get over there and, and do the tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the process of how you can um, go in and create an additional calendar in your Google Calendar. So the first thing you need to do is get into your Chrome browser, Firefox, whatever it is, log into your um, Google account. And then uh, from here, you can click on this nine dot menu and then just click on calendar. Or you could also go to calendar.google.com. Um, that will get you there. Um, so now you've got your um, you've got your calendar. It's pulled up right here. So what you need to do from this point is, and I'll, I'll point out right here, these are different calendars that already exist in your calendar, just like straight out of the box. There's these ones on here. Um, but I'm gonna show you how you can add things down here, and then we'll get into how you can also kind of color code things a little bit as well. Um, 
for you for it to work for you. So what you want to do, what you want to do is go up here to this gear icon, and then you're going to click on settings. And then once you're in the settings right here, um, you're going to see on the left hand bar, you've got a few different options on here. And what you want to do is click on this add a calendar add calendar. And there are a few different options in here. So you can subscribe to somebody else's calendar that has made it so you can subscribe to it. You can browse calendars of interests. So like if you're really into sports or something like that, you can actually go in and find your team um, and pull it into your Google calendar doing right here, browse calendars of interest. And then some people have a uh, URL that you can go in and pull and you just pop it in here and it will sync up that calendar on on here for you What we want to do though is this option right here create new calendar So we're just going to go ahead and create that and we're, and we're just going to call this one test calendar Okay, you can add in here a description. Um, this is a test calendar You can put in whatever you want. I'm just showing you how you can do this. You can put in your time zone. So I'm in mountain time, um, the one that's closest to Denver. I could also do the Boise one, um, but you know, it works for me. It always bugs me that Salt Lake's not on there, by the way, just like as a side note, because yeah, it's not there. I don't get it. Anyways, um, and then it gives you some of this information. So now you just create calendar. So after you've created that calendar, what you're going to do is you're going to go back in here and now you'll see over here, you've got your test calendar. It's right there. Just pop. So you've got your test calendar down here in, in on your left bar here. And if you want to toggle these on and off, you can just like really easily quickly click those on there. And now let's say, you know, I've got my be well. Um, so my assisted, my assisted living facility is called be well assisted living. And um, so I've got my be well admin calendar on here and I could adjust this and our one of our colors is this yellow color. So I'm going to change it to that. And then I'm going to change the test calendar. And I'm actually going to, I don't like any of these colors on here. So if I do add a custom color, I could go in and let's say I want this one to be like this super deep, dark, red, um, kind of a color for some reason. I, I really love that color um, and I put it in there. So now I've got um, these these few calendars in here. And so let's say I want to create an event. I just click on it where I want it to be and we're just going to do test um, test event. And um, you can see right here it's it's an event. And then if I click on this be well admin calendar right here, I can change the, the thing to be the test calendar. And now it changes it to that red color for me right there. And then I go ahead and hit save. And let's just say I have in here admin meeting. And this one is I'm going to leave on the be well admin. Now what I can do is I can quickly see I've got this one. This is my test calendar right here. This is my admin calendar. And I can see really quick. Boom, there it is. And I just realized these are Arizona State colors. So if you're an Arizona State fan, make sure you like the video, smash it. Because I just gave you gave you um, a little bit of, of plug there. I'm, I'm a Ute fan, uh, University of Utah, but you know, sometimes it got to stay in the Pac-12. So make sure you like the video if you're an Arizona State fan, because uh, I gave you some colors there. I absolutely love that you can do this in Google calendars. Like it lets you really customize things. It's really helped me stay organized as I try to balance everything that I have in the air um, and put everything together. Um, it helps me block my time off a little bit more effective and, and then just be effective with my work, which I really appreciate. Um, I actually have, I think seven, maybe eight calendars. Um, and I know that seems like a lot and it seems like a lot. I'm actually going to show you a quick view of what my calendar looks like, um, just on a weekly basis. So you get a feel for it. So as you can see here from my calendar, and this is leading into Christmas, so I actually have don't have much um, as we get into here. And I like this four-day view um, that you're seeing on here, but you can see all the different colors on there. And those are for specific types of, of jobs that I'm doing um, and different types of work. And this isn't even all of the ones that I have. So you can kind of get a feel there, um, just how that looks um, for me on my calendar and, and how I have things organized. And one thing I'm going to note, and I've talked about this several times in the last few videos, is it doesn't matter how many calendars you need. Yeah, I have seven or eight. You might just need one, and you might be fine with that. You might need three. You might need ten. You might need even more than that. It doesn't matter how many you need. Just make it so that it works for you, and feel free to adjust it. it just because you started off with ten calendars doesn't mean you have to stick with ten calendars. Adjust it down to five. Adjust it down to the number that you need. Don't put yourself in this in this grind where you think you've got to do the thing the exact same way every single time be flexible with yourself 
don't kill yourself trying to create a system that doesn't work for you and takes too much time to, to manage and maintain. Do something that works for you so that you can be productive and get things done. That I, That's the best advice that I could ever give you on all these things. Um, just find that system that works for you and then be consistent with it and you're going to be fine. I hope that tutorial was helpful for you. Um, make sure you smash that like button for me and let me know. Comment down below if there are different tools that you've used in Google Calendar to make you productive or if you're using Apple or Outlook, um, share with the group here how you use those things to help you stay organized and do your time blocking and, and get things done. In my next video, I'm going to get into kind of my full daily plan with me process um, using matrix planning with my bullet journal, uh, Notion, and, and Google Calendar. So I can kind of walk you through how I use those three pillars to get things done and, and stay on task and be productive and, uh, you know, be effective with my time. If you'd like to learn more about investing in assisted living, make sure you visit me on assistedlivinginvesting.net. I have free resources over there. You can schedule a call with me. I'd love to chat with you about where you're at in the process, whether it's uh, getting into assisted living or just running a small business, or you just want some tips on how to stay organized. Um, schedule some time with me over there. I'd love to chat with you. And make sure you follow me on my other social media platforms as well. And remember, it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Just keep making progress step by step by step. If you do it and you're consistent, I promise you that you will be successful. You can do this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.